Monteverdi based his opera Il Trovatore, or The Troubadour, on a play by the Spanish dramatist Gutierrez. And it's a play with one of the most tangled up plots I've ever encountered. In fact, I'd like to say I'll tell you a story about Trovatore, and now my story's begun. But as I've only got three minutes, I'll cut it short. Count de Luna rules in the Spanish territory where the opera takes place, and many years before, he had a narrow escape. A woman called Azucena, who's a gypsy, lost her mother because her mother was burnt at the stake as a witch. And to avenge her mother, Azucena went to the old Count de Luna's palace and stole one of his twin sons. She took the baby to the funeral pyre where her mother's corpse was smoldering and in a moment of absence of mind threw the wrong baby onto the flames, not the Count de Luna's baby, but her own child. Keeping the abducted nobleman as uh, her own son, she raised him as Manrico, who of course is the tenor in the story. Manrico and his twin brother, although he doesn't know this, Count de Luna, are both in love with a beautiful woman called Leonora. And at the beginning of the opera, we hear Manrico courting Leonora as a troubadour and playing his lute and singing to her. At the same time, Count de Luna realizes that he has a rival on his hands, and so he challenges Manrico to a fight. Manrico is in charge of a troop of gypsy rebels who are up against Count de Luna as their, uh, their rival and their, their enemy, and the whole troop of gypsies prepare themselves to march off by singing the famous and resonating Anvil Chorus. <laughs> At the same time, Adzucena tells Manrico the sad story of his own origins, and he learns that Adzucena is not his mother after all. Leonora manages to escape the Count de Luna by secreting herself in a nunnery. The Count de Luna again confronts Manrico and challenges him, captures him, and is going to have him put to death. Leonora uses poison to escape from the clutches of the Count de Luna, and Manrico, witnessing uh, the flames rising on yet another funeral pyre, prepares to go to his own death. And his mother, Adzucena, watches and tells the Count de Luna that he has managed to kill, not his enemy, but his own brother. <laughs> 